Are you shopping for the young women in your life? Today, I've got an expert here to help us shop for younger women. Hi ladies, and welcome to today's video. I am glad you're here today, and once again, I have my favorite guest with me. She's the only guest I've had. <laughs> But anyhow, she is my favorite. I'm so glad that my daughter, Abigail, is here with us today. Happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right, so we are going to talk about shopping for younger women. That would include, I would say, anybody really old, younger than us, but women in their maybe their teens and 20s and into their 30s and 40s. Um, let me introduce myself real quickly in case you're new here. My name is Kay and I blog at dressformyday.com where my goal each and every day is simply to encourage us older gals to get dressed for our unique days. I believe that every single one of us are influencers, not just me. And since you are an influential woman, you need to get dressed for your day. And so I simply want to help you do that. All right, but today I am turning my attention to shopping for that younger gal in your life, whether it is your daughter, your daughter-in-law, maybe a granddaughter, maybe a young neighbor, a young woman that you mentor. There's just so many reasons to be buying some sweet young gal a gift. And yesterday I published my gift guide for younger women. I do one of these every year. It's actually my favorite gift guide, Abigail, because Abby actually usually is the one who tells me just about everything to put on it. And so it's easy. When I ask her brother and her, her dad <laughs> for suggestions for their gift guide, they're, they're not quite as forthcoming, but Abigail always has a list of things that she's wanting and so, or that she's had. I think we always put that Polaroid camera on here <laughs> because Abigail loves that Polaroid camera. Why do you enjoy that camera so much? Well, because it makes my vacations, I think, last longer. Oh. I love having really fun little pictures to save those little precious memories I have with my friends. Yeah. And my friends are always worried if the picture comes out bad, what do you do? And I think there's no such thing. I haven't taken yeah. a bad picture with that yeah. camera yeah. yet because it's just fun to take those little moments. So speaking of that gift, I'm gonna show here a few of those pictures that Abigail has taken with the camera. And then she other takes another picture and shows them often on mm -hmm. Instagram or whatever. And they're just the neatest thing for young women. I know she enjoys hers. I bet your young gal would too. But moving on from that, Abigail is actually gonna give us five tips for shopping for the young women in your life. So Abigail, what is our, your first tip? Well, my first thing is start with easy accessories. Okay. I don't know about everyone, but for me, I always think of accessories last. So I'll go shopping and I'll buy some pretty clothes. I'll, you know, get my wardrobe up to date and then I'm ready to check out and then I see all the jewelry or <laughs> the necklaces or the really cute purse uh -huh. and I think, oh no, that's not going to fit into my budget. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to sacrifice a few things in order to afford that necklace. Right. Um, so it's nice to get those as presents, especially basic, simple pieces okay. that can go with everything okay. because then you're giving a gift that they can use over and over again. Okay, so just... Yeah, and that's that's really easy. I think I can handle that, but those are usually up around the register, like you say, and I can look for simple necklaces, earrings, handbags, scarf, those sorts of things. Great tip. All right, what's your second tip? The next thing is you don't, especially if you're in a retail store, you know, uh -huh. like Loft or Madewell or even at Target, and you're wanting to buy clothes because you know that the young lady that you're shopping for loves fashion or she loves, you know, enhancing her wardrobe, buy don't worry about buying the most it thing okay. or the most fashionable thing buy the basics oh. buy a new white t-shirt okay. because you can always use a clean fresh bright white shirt oh that is a great tip i love my t-shirts from banana republic they're oh, like yeah. v-neck you know i have mm -hmm. a black a gray and a white so is that something like what you would like absolutely because so like if you get all three of them and package yeah. them up that would be a neat gift that'd huh? be a great gift because okay. who doesn't want that or need that you know okay so that's a good idea mm -hmm. i did not know that one i'll have to go back and add that to my list okay what's your third tip 
The third tip is probably shop where they shop. Okay, yes. So go into the stores that they love, even if maybe you feel a little awkward. Out of place. They're out of place. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Ask an associate for help. Sure. Um, because they'll be able to quickly point you in the right direction or show you what someone that age is looking for. If it's a high school student or a college okay. student or just a young mom, they can tell you what other young moms have been looking at. Okay, so all right, now we're all wanting to know, where are some places that young women shop? I would definitely say Madewell. I'm a little partial. <laughs> Abigail works at Madewell. I work but, there and I love it. But every time I go in there, it is young, a lot of young women in yeah. there and the clothes do look very young and fresh. I'm able to find some things there but that it is definitely got a younger vibe to it. Yes, so. it's definitely a younger vibe, but we mm -hmm. see women of mm -hmm. all ages, and okay. I love it because you really, it just depends on how you wear it. Sure. You know? And that's with at any store. Sure. So I personally, I also love Loft and okay. Ann Taylor and Anthropology. Okay. I oh. love Gap because okay. it's just fun, fun and friendly right. and comfy. Okay. So there's a lot of great stores. What about J. Crew? Is that Absolutely. A good one? We love J. Crew Let's at Maywell. Let's see if we can think of any others. Uh, what about for jewelry and stuff? Where do you like to shop for jewelry? I know you said you don't really think about that yeah, until the last I, minute. I'm always last minute thinking about yeah. jewelry, so I kind of repeat my pieces. Of course, we like James Avery. We love James Avery. I'll, I'll put a link to that down below. And um, what about, oh, Abigail, last time she asked for a handbag from Fossil. Mm, so yes. that's kind of big for younger gals. Absolutely. I mean, really everybody, but you really like Fossil yes. bags, huh? I think I only have... Only have fossil, fossil bags. bags. <laughs> fossil bags, fossil watches. Right. That's all I wear. Okay, so my last tip is if you don't want to go into a store, shopping online these days is actually really easy, especially for gifts. Uh -huh. A lot of websites, especially those stores that we just mentioned, um, those websites will actually have gift pages or they or they have accessories pages or right. travel items. Maybe they don't sell all of their shoes or all of their um, intimates or pajamas or comfy robes. Okay. So you can find those types of things online. Right, and that might even feel like an, an exclusive that she hadn't seen in the store, right. but yeah. suddenly, but you were the smart, savvy shopper who was smart enough to get it from the gift guide online. Yes, right? so you really just so have to type cool. into that search engine. Okay. Gifts. Gift guide. Yeah. Or at this time of year, I think a lot of them are putting that gift guide right up at the top of the menu even. They do? Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. And of course, like I said, I have a gift guide too at my website for young women, as I always do. But I also have gift guides for young men and older men and older women, just about everybody. I don't know that they're all up yet, but I do have my one for young women up. But I think I'm gonna have to go back and add a few things to it. So this has been great information for me. I hope it has for you too. Thanks so much for joining me today, Abby. It's been oh, such yeah. a pleasure having you. This has been fun. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. If you enjoyed today's video, if you got something out of it, be sure and give me a thumbs up. That really helps my channel. Speaking of my channel, if you enjoyed what you saw here today, I hope you'll subscribe. I upload new videos every Wednesday. They're targeted to women just like you and me so that we can get dressed for our unique days, but also so that we can just, you know, be involved with the people who are in our lives in an appropriate way. So thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again really soon. Bye now.